Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and now that the dust has settled a little bit since last month's WWDC, and all of the major iOS 12 features have been revealed, it's time to take a look at some of the more underrated or hidden features in iOS 12. <laughs> Screenshots on the iPhone, specifically the iPhone X, have never been easier. In fact, it's too easy to take a screenshot to the point where a lot of iPhone X users end up with hundreds of accidental screenshots because the volume up and power button combination is so easy to accidentally press. In iOS 12, Apple has partially fixed this issue. If you press the power button and volume button at the same time while the screen is off, the phone will only respond to the power button and not both, meaning no accidental screenshot. The main issue for me is that I still accidentally press the combo a lot while the screen is on. An easy fix would be if Apple implemented a slight press and hold for the combination rather than making this function so instantaneous. Speaking of weird iPhone 10 quirks, our next feature is more of a feature fix rather than a new feature, but in iOS 11, when accessing the app switcher, a swipe up and long press near the middle of the screen is required. This is still the case here in iOS 12, but in order to close an app out in iOS 11, you need to do an additional long press on the apps until you see a red minus button, and then the apps can be swiped away. In iOS 12, Apple went with the more natural route, and now an app can just be swiped away immediately without the extra long press. Finally, our last iPhone 10 specific feature has to do with Face ID. Face ID works pretty well for the most part, but as the day goes on, people's appearances change. In iOS 12, in order to fix that, you can set up an alternate appearance. This next feature is something that I find to be incredibly useful when Shazam isn't working for you, or you heard a song on the radio but can't remember what it's called. If you happen to know any one line of the lyrics, however, there's a good chance Apple Music can find that song for you. Simply type the lyrics that you remember in the search bar and be amazed at how accurate this feature can be. Upon discovering this feature, I have tried to search many obscure songs, and for the most part, it's found just about every song. Do Not Disturb received some updates that were heavily covered during the keynote, but finding the specific features mentioned during the presentation seemed to be a bit harder than expected. If you want to access some of the new Do Not Disturb features quickly and easily, simply 3D touch the Do Not Disturb icon in the control center, and from here you'll find the Do Not Disturb for one hour, until this evening, or until I leave this location. You can also schedule Do Not Disturb from here too. This actually ties us into our next feature, which is this really nice looking good morning lock screen that Apple showed off during the keynote. The problem is, in order to actually see this screen when you dismiss Do Not Disturb after waking up, is that you need to have a few different settings turned on. For starters, you need to schedule Do Not Disturb to your desired time frame, presumably during the hours that you are asleep. Then check the bedtime mode setting, which will dim the lock screen and silence calls, and notifications will be displayed in the notification center, but not on your lock screen during this time frame. Finally, in order to see that good morning and weather lock screen, you need to go into privacy, location services, and make sure that weather is set to always. So from now on, if you wake up and turn off Do Not Disturb before it turns off for you, you'll see this lovely greeting and the current weather for the day. Heading back to Control Center, our next hidden feature has to do with QR codes. The iPhone camera app has a QR reader built in, which was introduced back in iOS 11, but what's new in iOS 12 is if you 3D touch the camera icon, you'll now see a scan QR code function. Honestly, I'm not totally sure why this feature exists since all you need to do is open up the camera app and begin scanning, but if you scan a lot of QR codes, I guess you now have more ways to launch into the camera app to do so. Finally, our last hidden feature in iOS 12 is the ability to airdrop passwords to other users around you. For example, if you go into the settings app and under websites and app passwords, you will see all the login information that you have saved. And if you would like to share that information with anyone near you, simply long press on the password and you'll immediately see the airdrop option pop up. Now, if I select my iMac Pro, which is running High Sierra, you'll notice this feature does not work. My MacBook Pro, on the other hand, is running macOS Mojave, and it works just fine, so keep that in mind. Once you airdrop the password over, your MacBook will add to its library of passwords. As new betas come out and we have more time to mess around with iOS 12, I'm sure new features will be discovered, so let us know what you think of these new features and if you'd like to see more potential new features in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.